Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today's video is an update on Adobe XD. Today we're going to be looking at several sneak peeks that have been shared on Twitter via Andrew Shorten. He is a senior director at Adobe XD. I'll leave his information down in the description so you guys can go and check out his Twitter if you would like. Today we're going to be covering several things that he shared with us so far. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first tweet is this image and it's just a GIF of the design specs and how you can download images and other assets directly from the design specs which I think if you're a developer this is going to excite you because when you're working with Adobe you want this to transition into that development as easy as possible. The next sneak peek is over the assets panel and this one's going to allow you to be able to reorder and rename some of your assets. So here you can see he's renaming colors, he's using character styles and he's even naming the symbols. I think this is going to be extremely efficient as in Adobe XD I hardly ever open the layers panel and rename each individual element so when I apply something as an asset I want to be able to set this to my main blue main red h1 text etc also that's going to go hand in hand with the design specs so when you send that over to that developer they can see that this is supposed to be the primary blue for the website so that's really great. I'm excited for this one. So this next one is frequently requested. I'm assuming that's on the Adobe page where you can request certain things for them to add in. So this must have been one of the highest ones on that list. We covered that a long time ago on the channel. So this is going to be paragraph spacing, which for me, I usually just make the paragraph and then hold alt and drag down and create a second one. But now we're not going to have to do that as we can somehow adjust paragraph spacing. So that's going to be pretty cool to work with. Going to reduce the amount of elements that I have to work with and make adjusting things just a little bit easier. So this next one is stroke enhancement. I've wanted them to add this for a while. I usually have to add rectangles as my underlines so I can round them. And now we should be able to do that with the line tool because you can see down here you can add a rounded or square cap and you can adjust that. And then we also have the stroke settings that we already have where you can align it on the inside, the outside, or you can split between the two. Down here, I'm not real sure what that is. It looks like you can add a rounded to the corner. So if you would have a square, you can round the corner, or it looks like you can have a little a cut out edge there. We already have the size, but now we have dash and gap, and that's going to adjust the gap dashes and how many dashes we're going to have on the screen. So that's a pretty cool feature. Can't wait to see that one. So for the last one, I think this is the most exciting because I love the prototype tab. When I first started getting into Adobe XD, the reason I switched from Photoshop and Illustrator was because of the prototype tab. To this day, I still animate a lot of my designs, but the more that they enhance this feature, the less I have to do of that. And I do like animating, but it saves me a lot of time when I can just do it in Adobe XD. So it makes things come out a little bit quicker and it speeds up my workflow. So I'm all for the prototype tab. I hope they do a lot more with this. And from what it looks like here in this tweet, it says that they're going to be doing a lot more. So I'm excited for this one. Here we have time transitions, and this is going to allow us to do things like splash images and preloaders and all kinds of things that we wouldn't be able to do without this. And I think there's going to be a lot of cool things. You might even be able to do some kind of animation in this. Um, I'll play with that when this eventually releases and see if I can't get a tutorial out on that because I think just from looking at this, there's quite a few things that you're going to be able to do with it. So that is it for all of the updates for Adobe XD. These are all sneak peeks coming again from Andrew Shorten. I'll leave his information down in the description if you guys want to follow him on Twitter. Down in the comments, make sure you guys let me know what your thoughts are on all of these and which one you're looking forward to the most. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more UI related content, and as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.